at Coastal Grandmother Thrift Haul. My name is Kara if you're new here and I've done a few of these videos. I really like doing them. I've been thrifting quite a bit. However, I will say we're kind of in a transition period and a lot of our belongings are packed in boxes. So there are some things that I can't show you today, but not to worry. I have a list of things like written down to show you in a future video. Hopefully that will be coming in the future, not too far away, hopefully, hopefully. I have a few things to share with you today. This is collective, I didn't get this all at one time. Also, some things are thrifted, some things are consigned, and I do have one thing that was a gift here. I will let you know like which is which. Without further ado, I will just get into the things that are not clothing first. The only home piece that I have to share with you is this tray. It was gifted to me by my husband's great aunt who collects a bunch of blue china and she knows that I have been collecting the Liberty Blue Historic Colonial Scenes set which is Colonial America but this is England and she told me all about it and the history of it and I can't remember everything that she said. It has been well loved and everything and there are some like chips and scratches so I've kind of been thinking like what do I want to do with this. What I've been using it for is like a mail tray. When we get mail, I've just been like putting it on here. I think it's so pretty. Next, I will do accessories. I got these little gold earrings from a consignment shop for $5. And I think they're so cute. They're kind of giving me like Heaven Mayhem vibes. Being like big chunky gold earrings. However, they were $5 and also a much more sustainable option because they were pretty loved i really like these a lot i think they're like the perfect little chunky gold earring my lighting just changed hopefully that's okay um oh okay this is like probably one of my most exciting thrift finds recently i thrifted this vintage coach bucket bag for 30 dollars from a thrift shop near my parents house and i took it to a coach store again near my parents house and they cleaned it and conditioned it and did all of that for me it can fit crossbody i don't love the place that it hits crossbody but it is nice that that's an option i've been using this bag so much recently i love that it's big it has a nice zipper top too so it obviously fits a ton so this was a great find it also has the little coach tag on it and I think I manifested this bag I have a list on my phone of like it's a thrift wish list pretty much and it's like things that I hope to someday find when I'm out and about thrifting if you don't have a thrift wish list you need to make a thrift wish list because it's not like you're gonna find everything that you ever want all in one day when you go thrifting on my thrift wish list I had a brown leather vintage coach and this is a brown leather vintage coat. I did a reverse Google image search for that bag and from my research I know that it's from between 1987 and 1992. It retailed for about like 170, 175 I think if I'm remembering correctly and that was in like the 1980s, 1990s. So I feel like the fact that I paid $30 for it is pretty good especially given that it's in really good condition. I don't have a ton of clothing because I feel like I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm not trying to buy clothes that I don't need just for the sake of buying clothes, you know? Like, I feel like my closet and my wardrobe is getting to a place that I'm, like, pretty happy with it. Of course, there are some things that I'm like, oh, I wish. Like, for example, I was like, I really wish I had a pair of good linen pants that aren't see-through which I did find and I can show you so I'll start with the things that I thrifted first and then to the pieces that I got from a consignment shop so I thrifted this L.L. Bean white t-shirt I got this from Goodwill and it was ten dollars which I think is extremely overpriced Goodwill prices are stupid in my opinion but it is L.L. Bean and it's not see-through and I do like the collar. I like the way it fits really well. So because it was like the perfect white t-shirt, I did spend $10 on it. I don't know. Next, I haven't even worn this, but it's a Lucky brand. Like really lightweight 
striped button down and i did not try it on in store this is from like a church thrift shop this one and the next one are both i got them at the same time it's like this vertical stripe super lightweight lucky brand button down i thought this could be nice for the summertime because it's so lightweight and i'm not sure if you can really tell but it's yeah super lightweight oversized i got it a size up this was seven dollars this one was also seven dollars but it is a ralph lauren button down this one is a women's size large again i was thinking kind of an oversized look blue it has like a white stripe has this little ralph lauren logo on it and i kind of thought this would be cute with jean shorts or something like that i really liked that this was machine washable which is part of the reason that i got it just another button down can never go wrong the last clothing piece that i have to share with you the other pieces are technically consigned i thrifted this ll bean fleece pullover for ten dollars from goodwill so the fact that this was ten dollars and this t-shirt was also ten dollars i feel like that doesn't make sense to me right like that doesn't make sense right it's like this sage color i feel like it's showing up lighter on camera than it is in real life but it's like this sage green little fleece pullover and it does have pockets on the sides i really like fleeces like this for running in the winter i have one of ethan's old ll bean pullovers and i wear a lot for running so i thought this would be good to also wear for running also i don't have any ll bean pullover fleeces like this if you're coming to maine and you really want to get some ll bean you could go to the flagship store like that would be fun and i would still recommend you go however if you go to any thrift store at least in southern maine but i i'm like 99 percent sure the entire state you will be able to find plenty of ll bean every time i go to the thrift store i find a ton of ll bean so i would say definitely maybe thrift for it because for one it's more economical for two it's more sustainable for three there's just the thrill of the hunt so moving on to the pieces that i got from a consignment shop i don't know if you would really consider it thrifting because it was like a curated consignment shop but i found some really great pieces and i feel like i'm at a, this point in my life where i'm really trying to think about the longevity of the things in my closet and thinking when i purchase something like, will i still have it in 10 years 20 years 30 years etc so with that being said this was kind of a big purchase for me but i told myself it could be like a birthday present to myself so i got this mint green burberry quilted jacket i love it it's a little bit oversized which is exactly what i wanted on my thrift wish list i had a quilted jacket and i did find a quilted jacket over thanksgiving it's in another thrift haul that's on my channel and it's more of an olive green but it's a very different vibe you know like it's i would say it's more sporty and it's eddie bauer and it's more sporty it's olive green it's more fitted you know and this one is like oversized they're just different vibes for different things i really like this one a lot and i feel like it's going to be in my closet for the rest of my life no regrets there i think it was like a hundred and twelve dollars the next thing i have to share with you is my new beach cover-up and just like swimsuit cover-up in general it's a set and it's terry cloth which I think is so fun, but it's this blue t-shirt, terry cloth t-shirt with these matching terry cloth shorts and it fits so well. I love the way that these shorts fit. They're so loose. They're so comfortable. I wore this outfit for the first time on Sunday and it was so perfect, so comfortable. I don't really have anything else to say about it, but I loved it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I got this pair of mother denim jeans and they are like the raw hem skinny jeans and i know what you're thinking carol what are you doing getting skinny jeans in the year 2024 and the thing is the price was right the length was right because i have like somewhat short legs everything about these jeans was right and skinny jeans will be coming back okay that's just the way that trends work also 
when I wear my hunter boots and my bean boots I like to wear skinny jeans with socks like around the jeans you know I need skinny jeans for bean boots and hunter boots so that's what these are for and they fit so well and I love them a lot I feel like mother Dunham you might have to size down in I really like these a lot it was my first mother denim purchase and it probably will not be my last so it is nice that I got them for a fraction of the price though so check your local consignment shops last but not least the final thing that I have to share with you is this pair of Eileen Fisher linen pants I'm obsessed with them I did wash them so they are a little bit wrinkly but nevertheless here they are they're an elastic waistband they do have pockets they're more of like a trouser style like a mid-rise trouser style linen pant but I love them so much wide leg at the bottom I don't know what else to say about them they're not see-through sustainably made plus I got them second hand also they'll probably last a really long time and I'll probably have them in my closet hopefully forever that's all I really have to say about them. I'm obsessed with them. Again, check your local consignment shops for linen pants. So the last thing I have to share with you are some books. And listen, I like to read, right? I like to read just as much as the next girl. Um, I don't like to pay full price for books literally ever. Books can be so expensive. This is what you gotta do, is you take yourself to your local library and find their used book section, okay? That's where all of these are from. Two, Ellen Hildebrand, Queen of the Beach Trade. Also this book, which I'm super excited to read, The Lost Summers of Newport. So excited about it. I did thrift other books, but I, maybe I'll make a TikTok of like every single book that I've thrifted recently because there are kind of a lot. But for the sake of this video, this coastal grandmother summer whatever thrift video, these are the ones that I'm sharing with you. Okay, we have... The Matchmaker, Ellen Hildebrand. Beautiful Day, Ellen Hildebrand. And then The Lost Summers of Newport, which is three writers, three authors, Beatrice Williams, Lauren Willig, and Karen White. I don't know. Ethan and I went to Newport last summer. I want to go back. I think, I think that's just like where I belong, honestly. Then lastly, this cookbook it's the Martha Stewart living cookbook and it's just full of recipes full of like kitchen basics things that you need in your kitchen easy recipes more complicated recipes have I used it yet no but I'll use it and I'll report back so that's everything I have to share with you in today's thrift haul definitely subscribe so you don't miss my next thrift haul with all of the things that are currently in storage also I'm sure I'll be thrifting more when we move back into our apartment, I might be needing to thrift some new things to fill some spaces because it is a bigger apartment. So stay tuned on that. And also, if you haven't checked out my other thrift hauls, definitely do that. I can link some in cards. Also, there will probably be some linked at the end of this video. That's all from me today. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.